hundred times. Okay? So that was the last exercise I did. Apart from what else did I do? Um, oh. Hang on, I've done the treadmill. Where's the, I, I think I went through the treadmill. Did I? I think that's number uh, nine. That's number nine. That's nine. Nine, nine of them. I think I did the treadmill. Yeah, I think I did the treadmill. Press. Treadmill. Uh, cycle. Cycle. I think I did the treadmill. I think I, I took these other readings and that was the third one was the treadmill. The third one was the treadmill. <coughs> I didn't, I went straight on to that from the cycle. So I, I missed out this, the treadmill. I said it's the treadmill. So the treadmill is the tenth one. Okay. The treadmill was the tenth exercise, and the Fitbit <coughs> read 58. It, it went right down to 58, and then it went to 69, 66, um, 76, 71, 64, at 40 calories. Um, 52 calories, 58 calories. At the finish, um, I did 58 calories on a 26 load on the treadmill and 72 on the Fitbit. That's on the treadmill. Okay, so those are the readings. 126, 129, 131, 132, 128, 131, 126. That's on the treadmill. So that was the tenth exercise in two and a half hours. That's 120, 150 minutes. <coughs> uh, 150 minutes, 10. Um, and that's working out at 15 minutes each machine, non-stop. 15 minutes each machine on the gym today. And <coughs> if that's not enough, I went into the pool and did a few runs up and down. I'm not counting them now. I just go and do them now. So I guess I might have done about 20 laps in the swimming pool after all that. And <coughs> I wanted to get back to watch um, the chase. Uh, on, but it's not on today, but I'm thinking during the week I race back to watch the chase. And so I came back as usual at just after five. Um, and the pools, um, no sorry, today, four o'clock, the pools, uh, the gym finishes at four, and the pools close at 5.30. So I was out of there by just after five, uh, out of the pool in the spa. So that's my um, exercise for the day. I was going to tell you the other ones for the other days because I haven't put it on Facebook. And those are really, really harder than this one today. That was just the other day. <coughs> I, one of them was a video and the other ones I didn't, um, I got too tired when I got back. But I had a good sleep. I now know that if I have more than four hours sleep, because I only get four hours a day normally uh, sleeping, I don't sleep much and that wears me out. But today I did a lot better by having extra sleep and staying in bed, don't get out too early. I was sleeping right up to six o'clock or five o'clock, because normally I get up at three o'clock or two o'clock. After four hours or three hours sleep I'm not up, up gone work. Uh, so that's uh, all I want to say for now, and uh, um, I just um, enjoyed my day and my dinner, uh, roast, and uh, apple pie. It was only $3.49 for apple pie, 
and I did some pictures, I put it on video, put the video online after, of my dinner, my roast dinner and my cream and, and um, apple pie, beautiful pies. Um, so other than that, uh, I spoke to Kingi Taurua today, the chief up north, and he's quite happy with the explanation I've given him, I haven't spoken to him for a while. Um, but um, <clears throat> I'm just lining him up for Auckland court case against all those people on Cook Street. <coughs> um, uh, I noticed today, I didn't know, I noticed today all, all the pictures and the videos have been taken off the media. Too late, I've already recorded the whole lot. And you're going to get screwed. All you media that, that wrote bad things about me and all the police and the courts and those people in Cook Street on that side, 43 of you, including the other ones in the office next door, you're going for a sketch because I've got all your names on that chart sheet. All of you people, all of you people ganged up against me and the police and the lawyers and my barrister <coughs> and the media thinking you could get rid of me. I'm not too bothered about the, the marshals because they did a big stuff up with this Gavin Marish. He, he, he's a big fat guy in that video. I'm going to put it back on again. They're not going to get away with it. Neither is he. He's, he's been working with the police and with the crooks in, in cahoots. You watch these Maoris. I'm telling you people, watch the Maoris because they're a fake tribe. I'm telling you straight to your face. You better believe me because that belongs to the crown. The Crown owns the word Māori and everything Māori. That's why we're stinging them with the bells and the pound note on their head and those administering it. <coughs> You've got an executioner on your head, right? The executor, sheriff. My nephew Desmond, one more, is taking my place. He's there for Bundy, Waitai and Manahi Parapara Mohini, those two Paramount Chiefs and Hedewini Karaka or Selwyn Clark, <coughs> more prominent as the captain of the ship of Admiralty. Okay? That's telling you that he's the chief. <coughs> he's the chief magistrate. He's the chief magistrate, captain of the ship of Admiralty, that flag there. That's Selwyn Clark. He signs the register. When he comes to Auckland, he signs the register of land deeds. Okay? From Britain. A clerk name with an E on here and from Britain. He's our partner. He's the officer in, in the, in the Kaikaui and Te Hapua. Te Hikua Te Ika Marae. I'm just saying these things. This has been my day today with Kingi. Uh, that I fell out with him, uh, but however, we're, we, we're too smart for anybody. We just carry on, and you can pick what you like about what I write about. You look at all the legal stuff in amongst all the ash, all the bad things of all the bad people, and those who deceive the public of New Zealand. And I'm saying today that 30% of the population of New Zealand is in the elite group. You're the ones that are getting the bill. I've estimated everything because I have a legal right with the Paramount Chiefs, commercial landowners of this country, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, because we're all from the Pacific Islands here in this country, excepting the Moriori's. They are the closest neighbours on Riku Chatham Islands. That's their country. It's got stolen. We won't go into that. I'm just saying Ngāpui, I'm there for Ngāpui chiefs of today. And 13 of them behind this flag on 1834. Not 1835 because that's the jack-up of the Māoris. I'm saying this as Hapu, the iwi belongs to the Maori, 
to have to give themselves. They can call it the, the, what they like. They don't have to call themselves Maori because that word and everything belongs to Pākehā. They're the ones, like this Marish guy, that conjured this all up with the Bible and the way he's talking with his little pictures of things to think that we're going to follow another belief system where we've got our own. We have ours straight up. We don't have middlemen. Sorry, Mr. Gavin Marish, you can F out of here and go back where you came from. Your ancestors came from Marish's and you changed your name and took the H off the end and put a C there. What's with that? I've got your name in the original documents written up as the deputy sheriff written up and you stand there in that office in Cook Street and deny that you had part of it. You deny flat in your face from your Pākehā white skin ancestor marriage and say that you're invisible. That's typical white Maori. Typical white Maori. You made this all up. You're the faker, mate, on this video. I'm putting your face in the box with all the other crooks that can't touch them because someone's saying, don't touch. And I'm just guessing that it's our partners in Britain the Navy, not this Navy here, because they're crooked. They're crooked, Kingy. They're crooked, Napui. They're trying to steal this flag of ours here. Up at Waitangi with Peter Peroni, or Peter Brown, and his thugs in that marae with my carvings. I want those carvings back, Kingy. I want those carvings back, and that building, those timber. That's my signature title. That is my signature title to my uetaha, Rahui Marae and Tiki Tiki, where the birth certificates were created as legal documents. Right? I'll stick that on your head, you people. All those birth certificates, you, and the one you used on me in the court, Shannon Withers, you flatly deny that as well. My court hearing and my citations you used for your own benefit to get your court judges off the hook. You're not getting away with it. You're not going to get away with it because too many people are watching you and caught you out right in front of everybody. You're caught. Your days are numbered now and you get the bill. Trillion pounds each. I warned you. I warned you, police. I went to the police station before I went to Cook Street. I had it all planned out. Now that makes you guilty, you media people, makes you guilty, and that whale oil blubber fella, you're in it too. You're advertising us as something that's not right. And the media taking those photos and the videos off. Too late, I've already documented it. I'm putting the video right back onto that document that you wrote up about us about untruth. I'm speaking for the king and you've offended me as the native of this country, the original natives here, with my family, the Paraparas and the Manukau's and the Mohinis. I'm just talking for the ones that I'm working with. <coughs> That's who I talk for, the Krakas on my land block at home and on One Tree Hill, the Krakas. My Clarks, the Clark. Those are my family. Okay? And I say bad things about anybody, even whoever if you are, but he's a good man. He's heart in the right place. So I'm saying that he's the key behind the Tomata Komatu in Hokianga. So this one's for you, whoever. We got him. We got him, man. We got him. You just support all those ones up there, and Bundy and them, and Manahi and them, and 
the ones in Te Hapua and the ones in Matauri Bay and Hokianga. This is Napui. This is Napui flag and Napui contract that I'm doing here. I'm doing all the paperwork. I made a stamp for you and the fucker meaning out. I'm just going to get it made so you can stamp your documents officially, authority, update. In the meantime, the bank is down here in Auckland, the Moai Powerhouse Bank and the Moai King William IV Trust is here in Auckland as the financial arm of the Whakaminia <coughs> on your part of the contract to Britain. I'm handling the Britain part, as I've always said, I'm going there to represent the Whakaminia here with the legal documents in contracts private contracts. Nobody's business, whoever, just yours and everybody up there and your son talking about Rapa Nui. I'll just put it back on my side again because it all fits the Papa of Maui as your title. That's the spirit of this whole will. And for us here, Tahiti, that's all. That, that's all that makes a title, a memorial, a chief, a paramount, preferably, and a flag, and a king, and a paramount. See? That's what we have in authority to write the paramount out to the letters that 30% of the population of New Zealand is in that bracket. Now, However, you fellas up there, you go and collect all those people who've just flown in on your land and pass the bill over to me over here with the two paramount chiefs, or three of them actually, those ones up there in Hokianga, that's where it all started, with this Captain of a Ship, Clendon. Started over there on uh, Mora Hoffman Russell. That's where she lived in Hokianga. That's where it all started with the Russells. So she's behind all of this with a claim as well. Anybody can claim on this side with Moa. Just stick your name and claim to be one of the 70%. And build the other side.